So, Anonymous posted uh, this article on Twitter about this mother in uh, western Pennsylvania who drowned two of her sons in the bathtub. I wish I could unread this. I wish this crap didn't happen. I'll post a link at the bottom, you know, whatever, you can read it yourself. This, I don't know how this lady even has had children. She has three, three sons. A seven-year-old she sent to school. Three-year-old and a six-year-old, she, um, got them to, uh, Undress and get in the tub. Take a bath. I mean, who takes a bath before school? You take it at night before you go to bed. I don't know. The six-year-old. I don't know why the six-year-old wasn't going to school. But she gets them in the tub. She put the older boy in the bus at 8:40 a.m. She told the younger boys take off their pajamas and get in the bathtub. Okay, they got in the tub and she gets in fully clothed and she sat on them. She drowned him. The three-year-old was pronounced dead at 10.50 a.m. and the six-year-old is in the hospital in critical condition. I imagine there's probably a lot of brain damage. He's probably not going to make it. I don't know. But then she claims crazy voices were telling her to push the boys down into the water. And she said that at one point she was sitting on top of them while they were under the water in a tub. And what kind of fruitcake does this crap to their own children? How could you betray the trust of two innocent little children like that? It's not right. They were both found unresponsive. Uh, they couldn't revive the three-year-old. And it talks about memorials and bouquets of flowers and stuff. The neighbors were all shocked and everything. Of course, she's being held without bail here on April 11th. My opinion, lock her up and throw away the key. Now, I have a son that's almost I mean, nine this year. And I think of this kind of crap happening. Why would somebody betray the trust of an innocent child like that? It's not right. She shouldn't have had them in the first place. It says here on September 5th, 2009, uh, one of the children, a toddler, probably the one of the seven-year-old now, um, or, uh, obviously it's not the three-year-old he wasn't born, it's one of the two older ones. Well, she left the toddler in the car, and his interior was measured, the temperature was at 112 degrees when the police arrived. She was, she paid a fine, and that was it. Child wasn't injured, she paid a full, small fine. Why weren't the kids taken away from her before this happened? Of course, she's charged with criminal homicide and an attempt at homicide, reckless endangerment, tampering with physical evidence for hiding her wet clothes in a trash bag and then hiding it under 300 bags. It wasn't crazy voices that told this bitch to do this. She just didn't want her kids. She didn't want to be a mom. Her uh, husband was in, at work. You know, these these are church-going people. So, I don't know why that kind of always a kind that snaps like that. I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, no, nah, you know, there's other people that aren't, but it's terrible. Innocent little children. You know, how could how could somebody do that? There's even a picture of this crazy bitch on on this link. She's smiling in her. Um, photo. It wasn't crazy voices. It wasn't. 
She hid the evidence. She was trying to get away with it. Trying to pass it off as an accident. And it wasn't. She said she thought she could be a better mother to the oldest boy if the other two boys weren't around and they would be better off in heaven. Uh, this is just really disturbing to me. and I'm just going to let you guys read the article. You know, the whole... Susan Smith thing where she drove her kids into a ramp and got out of there and all that people like that just lock them up and throw away the key I don't know what else to say but it's it's disturbing and it's sad alright read that and try to get through your day